live from Somerville, Tennessee. You are watching TCA basketball on the ball game blitz. I'm Stan Gerard, the voice of TCA athletics. Diamond Dave McCulley has the night off to attend to some family issues. But tonight, as the season draws to a close, we present to you tonight's ball game. It's the Trinity Christian Academy Lions making the short trip to Fayette Academy to take on the Vikings in region play. This will be the second time that these two teams have played this year. TCA won both games handily. The first time, in fact, it was 72 to 19. TCA won back on February 27th. Riley Hidrogo had 17. Anna Sanders had 12. And Tory Robinson had 15. Arnold and Cleek had nine boards each in that ball game. A win for TCA tonight, if my math is correct, and my math can be shady at times, but a win tonight locks TCA into no worse than third place in the district for the year, and that's a good thing. Let's take a look at the standings. I'll tell you what. Let's go ahead and get our first time out in. And when we come back, we'll talk about the district standings. You're watching the Countdown to Tip on Pregame show right here on the Ball Game Blitz. Our town is thriving, and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack from the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio. Each are about live local, eat local, relax local. We realize you have a busy lifestyle, and at the Bank of Jackson, we're here to help you fulfill all of your financial needs, personal and business loans, mortgages, online banking and bill pay, and so much more. Serving the Jackson area for 25 years. The Bank of Jackson, your down-home community bank. You belong here. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Well Solutions LLC offers experienced and diversified services throughout the greater Tennessee area. Water Well Solutions specializes in water well drilling operations. Their experience in the design, construction, and maintenance of wells from 4 to 16 inches in diameter and depths up to 1,000 feet. Water Well Solutions has three locations in Somerville, Brownsville, and Trenton. For a consultation, give them a call at 731-779-1275. Why go on vacation when you can live on vacation? Aloha Custom Pools will help you create your very own piece of paradise and you can enjoy it every day. What are you waiting for? Take the plunge. Call Aloha Custom Pools or visit us online. And welcome back to Fayette Academy High School here in Somerville, Tennessee. My name's Stan Gerard. Let's take a look at those uh, district standings as they are of this morning. On the girls' side, USJ leads the girls with a record of 17-5. They are 8-0. Their next game will be Tuesday when they host TCA. Jackson Christian is in second place, 15-6, 4-2 district play. They have games against Tipton Rosemark and two games against Fayette Academy left on their schedule. TCA, seven and 16, four and three in district play. And of course, we have games tonight against Payne Academy and Tuesday against USJ. Payne Academy, eight and 10 in district play. Or excuse me, eight and 10 overall, three and three in district play. They have games against TCA and two against Jackson Christian. TRA brings up the rear there, 5 and 17, 0 and 7. They got games against Jackson Christian and Carroll Academy. G. Cleek checking in from Dresden. Betty Lucky checking. I saw Betty. I saw Betty last night in Medina. Bonnie Coble, Gail Presley saw her in the grocery store today. And Roy Floyd San Franklin. And that means Ralph is such a good boy. Yes, he is. Take a look at the men's standings. USJ leads with a record of 14-4 overall, 9-1 and 
in district play. They got a battle in their hands tonight as they will host Sacred Heart before Tuesday's matchup with a TCA. TCA, of course, 18 7, 8 2. TCA controlling their own destiny on the road tonight at Bay Academy and on the road Tuesday at USJ. Jackson Christian, 16 7, 5 and 3. They've got an easy schedule towards the end. Of course, nothing's easy, but they've got Rosemark, a couple of dates with Faye Academy, and I've never seen where they played Natchez Trace yet. So they may have four win games to play this season. Sacred Heart, 10 and 10, they're five and four. They've got Tipton Rosemark, USJ, and Tipton Rosemark. Faye Academy, 10 and 13. They are three and six overall. And they have games tonight against TCA and two against Jackson Christian. Tip to Rosemark, 7 11, 1 and 6, are out of playoff contention. Well, that's a look at your district standing, at least how I understand them. Let's take a short break. When we come back, we'll tell you a little bit about both of these ball clubs. TC basketball, the countdown to kick off, counting down the tip off pregame show on the ball game blitz. Buy a car in your bikini, buy a truck in your jammies, buy an SUV in your, well, <laughs> no matter what you're wearing or not, shop JonesChevroletHumboldt.com with the area's largest used car inventory. Hi, I'm Stan Gerard for your local Food Right. Food Right is the home of the butcher. Foodright is proud to sell certified Angus beef. It's the very best there is. All of our beef, signature pork, and chicken products are cut and packed fresh daily by our in-store butchers. To feed your family well, Foodright, with 11 locations across West Tennessee, is where you need to go. Have a great day, everyone, and much more importantly, God bless. Your life. Your home. Your business your future. Focusing on you, West Tennessee Bank strives to serve its clients in every season of life. With vast experience in personal and business banking, we take pride in guiding you through significant events. At West Tennessee Bank, we help you realize your dreams. West Tennessee Bank is a division of Decatur County Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. West Tennessee Bank, focused on you. I'm Chad P. Wilson with Foundation Bank, a family-owned community bank here in West Tennessee. Your checking account should be more than just a place to store your money. Our foundation benefits with high interest checking account, pays you interest, but also includes identity theft monitoring, cell phone protection, and roadside assistance. Start a financial conversation with us today by visiting our website, foundationbank.org, or call us on the number on your screen. In the meantime, God bless you. Foundation Bank is division of McKinsey Banking Company, member FDIC. Terms and conditions apply. Is Old Frosty on its last legs? Don't wait until it's old and cold. Give your home and family the gift of comfort. A new York HVAC system with a free 10-year parts and labor warranty from McCoy's Heating and Air. Get the security and savings of a 10-year parts and labor warranty free with the purchase of qualifying systems. So you and your whole family can celebrate in comfort with the gift that keeps on giving. A new York HVAC system delivered by Santa and his merry team of technicians at McCoy's Heating and Air. Back here in Somerville, Tennessee, I'm Stan Gerard, Michael Mancini, producing and directing tonight's broadcast. Coach Philip Robertson will be on the camera for tonight's ball game. Let's take a look quickly at some of the numbers for TCA. TCA led the scoring by Tori Robertson with 11.4 points a ball game, with 9.5 points per ball game. It's the eighth grader, Mary Grace Cleek. She's followed by Riley Hidrogo, averaging 7.3. Then it's going to be Mallory Arnold, averaging 5.5. Annie Payne, 4.2. And Anna Sanders at six points a ball game. As far as the ladies for Faith Academy, they're led in scoring by number 15, Hannah Logan. Averaging 14 and a half points a ball game. It falls off after that. Ali Reese Hernsky averaging 6.1. 
Abby Tucker averaging 6.5. And Caitlin Cannon averaging a 4.4. Those are the scoring averages for some of the top ladies that we'll be seeing in this ball game tonight between Faith Academy and our TCA Lions. Among those checking in, Tommy Chapman, Lee Williams Miller, Wayne Peggy Parker from Mickey are in the house or they're watching. Jane Lane Payne is watching as well. We are just about set for the starting lineups. TCA still out on the floor getting their warm-ups in. But as I said, you know, TCA won this game handily back on February 27th by a score of 72 to 19. No question about it, TCA is going to be the prohibitive favorite in this game. What we want to do at this ball game, continue to improve on the things we need improving, obviously, execute well, and I think above all, keep from getting hurt. And at this particular time, we're going to take a quick break. And when we come back, the starting lineups for tonight's ball game. It's TC basketball on the ball game blitz. For the past 22 years, Tennessee Tractor has been committed to you, our customers. That's why our locally owned business delivers great John Deere products with great service at a great price. From the backyard to the back 40, whatever size project your family's got, you can rely on us to help you get it done. From our friendly staff to our reliable equipment and our quality service, Tennessee Tractor has one goal, to keep you and your family up and running. Hometown value, hometown service. That's Tennessee Tractor. No matter where you are, You can shop 24-7 at HumboldtDodgeChryslerJeep.com with the area's largest used car inventory. It's the off season, but it's the best season to buy at Aloha Custom Pools. Snag your dream pool now, and we promise you'll be splashing around by Memorial Day. What are you waiting for? Give us a call or visit us at AlohaCustomPools.com. Hello folks, this is Gary Deaton, right here at Deaton's Carpet One. I want to let you know we've been in business for 48 years. Here's what I believe has made the difference. Our lifetime labor warranty on everything we install. Our healthy living installation, bacteria and germs cannot survive in our new flooring. Our beautiful guarantee, if you don't just love it, we'll replace it. It will make your flooring experience priceless. We're located on Freedom Highway, 1000 Highway 45 Bypass in good old Jackson, Tennessee. Dynamics Physical Therapy, your elite provider in sports medicine and performance. Now serving communities throughout West Tennessee. This is not your typical car dealer ad. You usually see words like this and numbers like this. I'm not doing it. We have discounts. We have special interest rates, just like everybody else. What they don't have is me. 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 Buy your next vehicle where you feel comfortable, and that's with us. Visit online for savings and rates. You should already be here. This is Do you want your smile to say it all? At Elite Dental Care, we'll make you and your family feel comfortable and secure with a variety of services and state-of-the-art care. We offer sedation dentistry that will make your time in the dental chair comfortable and relaxed. Come by and see our newly renovated and expanded office in Jackson or one of our other convenient locations in Trenton or Dyersburg. Trust your smile with Elite Dental Care and let your smile say it all. And welcome back. Here are the starting lines of the game first for TCA. Number two, A. Payne. Number three, Mallory Arnold. Number five, Jill Joyce. Number 12, Tori Robinson. And number 20, Anna Sanders. Here are the starting lines for 
Faye Academy. I'm trying to get some of these. I'm a little bit behind. Okay, one, two, three. Here are the lineups for Faye Academy. It's going to be number zero, Abby Tucker. Number 10, Lily Gilbert. Number 12, Ali Rees Herzge. Number 25, Hannah Logan. Or excuse me, number 15, Hannah Logan. And number 22, Caitlin Cannon. It's Tucker, Gilbert, Herzge, Logan, and Cannon for Faye Academy for TCA. It's Payne, Arnold, and Joyce, Robinson, and Sanders. TCA missing a few players tonight. Riley Hidrogo is apparently ill. Not with the team that I don't see her on the bench. But we're ready for basketball. Tip control by Faye Academy. Faye Academy quickly in the front court. They're met with a stingy defense right off the bat. Faye Academy wanting to work it around and get a cutter in the, in the paint. TCA defense not allowed. There's a steal. And we have a foul on the play. Abby Tucker is going to pick up her first personal foul of the ball game. TCA with the ball in the front court. Fires it over left. That's Robinson. There's a push off, no call. Back to the top of the key. Inside. Arnold, take that shot. Around the horn. Top of the key. Shots up. It's short. Rebound out of bounds. 7-12 to go in our opening quarter. No score between uh, TCA and Faye Academy. You're not going to see a score on the scoreboard tonight. Well, we're going we're to try, but you're not going to see time on the scoreboard tonight. You got that now, too. Well, we got our problems fixed. That's a good thing. Hey, it'll be TCA basketball out of bounds. 7.05 to go in our opening quarter. Robinson on the wing. Back to Sanders. Inside, Robinson, the short little jumper, and it's short. Rebound, Faye Academy. Faye Academy off to the races. They didn't have the numbers, they pulled it back out. And the Lady Vikings will reset the offense. Driving, that's a travel, no call, but shot up and good. By Faye Academy, it's Hannah Logan. And Faye Academy with the early lead. There's a steal by the Lady Vikings. They go wing, long three, skims off, no. Rebound shot for good. Abby Tucker with the bucket, and it's 4 0 Faye Academy. So, early on in this ball game, Faye Academy coming out and playing stout. There's a press by Faye Academy. TC will break it and get in the front court easily. Robinson Sanders. Down low, Arnold. Nice pass. Shot up, no on the foul. Foul number 12, Allie Reese Hersky, first personal foul, second team foul. Allie Reese Hersky with the foul. At the line for the Lions, number 12, Tori Robinson. Tori Robinson shooting two. At Cherry, she's a 74% free throw shooter on the year. And it tickles the twines to stays on the board. Even though they have digitalized lights in this facility, it's a little dark for my eyes see. I'll eventually adjust, but it's a little dark early. Second free throw is good, and it's 4-2. Faye Academy. Ball is deflected on the inbounds. Faye Academy works in the front court. Tried to go inside. 
Here's Tucker, loses the basketball, and it's controlled by TCA. Cleek into the ball game. Shot up, no. Nice pass, up and good. That was Tory Robinson on the bucket, and we're tied at four, our first tie of the ball game. They go inside, Faye Academy loses the basketball out of bounds. It'll be side out, Trinity Christian Academy with 5-12 to go in our first quarter play. Cleek looking to get the ball in, gets full court pressure. Needs help. And in the front court, tried to get the pass down to Arnold, gets stolen. Faye Academy on the offense. Shots up, they miss the short arm bunny. They reset, and they go outside. Into the corner. Logan needs help on her end. Turns around, her shot's up and no good. Tori Robinson with the rebound for TCA. Robinson pushes coast to coast. Up and good. TCA takes the lead. And she has six. The Academy wants a timeout. We're going to take one with them. TCA six and Faye Academy four on the ball game blitz. The town is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio. Eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. We realize you have a busy lifestyle, and at the Bank of Jackson, we're here to help you fulfill all of your financial needs, personal and business loans, mortgages, online banking and bill pay, and so much more. Serving the Jackson area for 25 years. The Bank of Jackson, your down-home community bank. You belong here. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Jenna Joyce into the game for TCA. It'll be Faye Academy basketball. TCA with a 6-4 lead. Under five minutes to go in our first quarter of action. Faye Academy played with a lot more spirit this game. The drive the shot up over the back, no call. I think they got it. Hannah Logan picks up her first, her team's third. The TC boys basketball team in the house. Again, full court pressure being applied by Faye Academy. Balls on the deck. Jump ball, all trade possession does favor TC. One thing I like about this gym, you never have to find out who's got the all trade possession. They got a big, huge triangle sign at the uh, scores table right in front of us. TC pass, overthrown, and a turnover. Hersky drives, gives it to the trailer. The shot up, short arm by Tucker. And the ball goes out of bounds. Addison McNabb into the ball game. It'll be side out, Faye Academy. They're looking, looking to get in. Troy Robinson got a hand on it. And they call Anna Sanders for the foul. Sanders, her first, team's first. Looking, looking. That's Tucker dishing it off. McNabb, whistle, double dribbles, the call. Turnover at Faye Academy. Holly Adcock, Brad Keltner, Beth Cornelius Waller, Shane Blackwell Thornton among those checking in. And we have a jump ball. Possession arrow favors 
Faye Academy for scoring this game at home like Freddie Garrett. He also put that down as a turnover for TCA. Steal. TCA drive to the hoop. Pause, missed the bunny. And a foul. Foul on the floor before the shot. TCA will throw the ball in. Robinson and Arnold back in for the Lions. Inside shot up, missed it. TCA with the rebound, and they call traveling. You could have made a case for a little bit of holding on the play, but we'll let it go. 6-4 TCA with a lead. Here's a double team by TCA at midcourt. And they throw it out of bounds where they will retain possession, they being the Lady Vikings. Larry Vales checking in. And in the front court, it's Cannon. She dishes. The drive, the scoop, uh-uh. Rebound, Lions. Taylor entry pass to Robinson. She's in the front court. She pushes it down the court, inside to Arnold. Arnold loses the basketball. You gotta take that shot up, and quickly. Into the front court, it's Logan. Balls on the deck. And a timeout on the court taken by TCA, 6-4 Lions. We're back after this on the Ball Game Blitz. Buying a home is a major milestone, and at the Bank of Jackson, we want to help you achieve it. Our mortgage specialists can assist you with conventional, VA, FHA, or construction loans, as well as USDA and THDA development loans. Serving the Jackson area for 25 years. The Bank of Jackson, your down-home community bank. You belong here. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. 6-4 TCA in a low scoring game. Not a lot of flow to this ball game so far. Linda Dooley checking in. Chris Tippett checking in. Chris, thank you so much for your kindness last night. It's greatly appreciated. Here's the Lions bringing it up into the front court. Back door. Too far under the bucket when they received that pass. TC tries to save it. And they throw the ball away. TC Robinson seals it right back. Dribbled off her foot, but it's going to be off of Faye Academy. It should be. And it'll be TC basketball. Proper call. Here's Sanders. Around the horn we go. Double team on Cleek. Credit to Faye Academy play much more aggressively in this ball game than they did in the last contest between these two teams. It does not look like the same Faye Academy ball club that we saw a little bit earlier. Ball thrown out of bounds. That's TCA basketball. Looking at the standings. TCA four and three, Faye Academy three and three. So if Faye Academy has any hopes for third place, they must win this ball game. Looking, looking, Cleek with the basketball. Payne almost loses it, they get it back. Here's Sanders inside, Robinson. Arnold is fouled. Al Logan, Logan picks up her second for the Lady Vikings. 
What Mallory Arnold needs to do on that play, though, is get a shoot quicker. She's turning around looking, just turns and shoots. Arnold at the cherry stripe. It's good. Arnold, a 59% free throw shooter on the season. Arnold averaging five and a half points a ball game, now has two, and TCA leads 8 4. Pay Academy drives the floor, is short, rebound, TCA. Quickly to the front court, down to the corner, back out to Sanders. Inside, Arnold. Shot up, no. Rebound, Fayette Academy. 31 seconds to go. Ball stolen by TCA. Robinson with the ball, short arm the layup. Vittoria is fouled on the play, and she'll go to the line shooting a deuce. Caitlin Canyon with her second personal. Tori Robinson at the line, 74% coming into the game, two for two on the night. Back porch of the pig iron, no. Zero, Abby, Tucker, the Abby Tucker returns for Faith Academy. Missed them both. And TCA loses the basketball. Out of bounds, Mary Grace Cleek into the ball game. Tell you what, I really like the public address announcer here at Fay Academy. He keeps you on top of things. I know the guy, he is absolutely one of the best in the business in West Tennessee. Seven seconds, TCA with the lead. Low post, turn around. It's up and good. Abby Tucker with the bucket. And we've come to the end of the first quarter play. Our score at the end of one, it's TCA eight. At Faith Academy six. We're back after this on the Ballgate Blitz. Well Solutions LLC offers experienced and diversified services throughout the greater Tennessee area. Water Well Solutions specializes in water well drilling operations. Their experience in the design, construction, and maintenance of wells from 4 to 16 inches in diameter and depths up to 1,000 feet. Water Well Solutions has three locations in Somerville, Brownsville, and Trenton. For a consultation, give them a call at 731-779-1275. Why go on vacation when you can live on vacation? Aloha Custom Pools will help you create your very own piece of paradise and you can enjoy it every day. What are you waiting for? Take the plunge. Call Aloha Custom Pools or visit us online. Buy a car in your bikini. Buy a truck in your jammies. Buy an SUV in your, well, <laughs> no matter what you're wearing or not. Shop JonesChevroletHumboldt.com with the area's largest used car inventory. TCA leads 8-6, going to the second quarter for TCA. Arnold with two points, and Troy Robinson with six for Faye Academy. Hannah Logan with a deuce, and Abby Tucker with four. Those the young ladies who have scored in this game. So far, it's going to be TCA basketball to start this third quarter of play. They're just having a lot of fun with this PA system here. And we're back to play. They do a nice job administering their games here at Faye Academy. Cleek with the ball. Oh, threat of the needle to Tory Robinson. That basket brought to you by the Singer Sewing Company. On a rail. Ball knocked out of bounds. Last touch by TCA. 
We're really doing a lot of good with that backdoor move. But I'd like to see us get a little more spacing on it because it's either fast or it's either feast or famine with that particular move. Patrick Jacobs watching from Woodbury. Randy Queen from Hermitage. After the Fade Academy turnover will be TCA basketball out of bounds. 10-6, Lions. Sanders in the front court. Around the horn. To the wing. Joyce. Distributes down low. Scoop shot up. No. Rebound Fade Academy. On the snowbird. Too long. But they save it. A bounce pass, stolen bodies hit the floor, and we got a whistle. Abby Tucker picks up her second. Tucker, one of their top players, gonna have to be careful the rest of this quarter. Cleek with the ball left side. Payne, back to Cleek. The little floater is no good. <laughs> TCA with the basketball still looking, looking. They get the ball in. Cleek for three. Count <laughs> You can't give Cleek that much time and let her get dialed in. 13-6. Fay Academy hanging tough here in the first half. We got a stoppage in place so a young lady can tire a shoe. And we're back to action. Backdoor play, we fell asleep and they missed the bunny. Tried to cut it from the top of the key. Just flat missed the layup. Robinson. Torrey, 4-3, short. Out of bounds. Faith Academy basketball. Again, TCA without the services of Riley Hidrogo tonight. Assuming she's out with the sickness. I know she wasn't hurt. We were not informed of her absence before the game. Faye Academy tries to go back door. TCA defense picks it up. Lady Vikings lose the basketball out of bounds. That's TCA ball. Bradley Smith checking in. Here's Joyce. Torrey, they go down low. Shot of a good. Annie Payne with the bucket for TCA. And we have another Fay Academy timeout. 15 6 Lions. We're back after this on the ball game blitz. Hi, I'm Stan Gerard for your local Food Right. Food Right is the home of the butcher. Food Right is proud to sell certified Angus beef. It's the very best there is. All of our beef, signature pork, and chicken products are cut and packed fresh daily by our in-store butchers. To feed your family well, Food Right, with 11 locations across West Tennessee, is where you need to go. Have a great day, everyone, and much more importantly, God bless. The fine folks at Food Right, one of the sponsors of tonight's ball game. Food Right, with 11 locations all across West Tennessee, Food Right, the home of five or 25 specials, and more importantly, Food Right, the home of the butcher. Shop your local Food Right, one right here in Somerville, just down the road from us. 526 to go in the first half of action, TCA 15, and Fay Academy 6. Again, TCA without the services, Riley Hidrogo tonight. We're not giving a reason why, but I know she's down on the bench. Almost a travel by Fay Academy. 
High shot up, no. Rebound for the academy, and they travel with the basketball. Well, I'm going to assume Riley is not feeling well. We hope she gets better quickly. And here come the Lions. Three on the way. Tickling the twines is Tori Robinson. She's in double digits now with 11. Driving quickly to the hoop is Logan. Shot's no good, but she is foul on the play. The foul on Payne, her first foul of the game. Hannah Logan at the cherry stripe. It's good. Second one on the way, missed it. Rebound, TCA. Torrey pushing into the front court. Lane Williams, the Bulldog. Inside. Arnold, skip pass. Down low baseline. Three from the wing. Uh-uh. Rebound, Fay Academy. Stolen, shot up and good. TCA. Sanders with the bucket, her first. 20 to seven. Fay Academy quickly pushing the ball up the court. Had three, they got the backdoor move, did not look for it. Kick out three, it's good. Lily Gilbert with the bucket. Good ball movement. Now we know that with now we know why they went for the three. Gave up an opportunity for an easy deuce. T Shake has the ball down low. Quickly back up the top of the key in the paint. Robinson bouncing, bouncing. No. Rebound Lions. Nope, check that rebound Fay Academy. I thought we had our hands on it. Good defense by the Lions. Driving Logan into the sideline. Logan shot up. Check that. Abby Tucker with the deuce. She's got six. She's the leading scorer for Fay Academy in this game. TCA being patient. Baseline are the Lions. Ball knocked out of bounds. So it's going to remain TC basketball. Inside, Arnold shots blocked. That's still why I like to see that quicker move. Here come the Vikings. Skip to the top of the key. Dishing, driving, shots up, uh-uh. Rebound Fay Academy. Falls in the deck. And a jump ball favors Fay Academy. Well, somebody's kicking something on something somewhere. I'm picking up a constant thumping in my headset. Fay Academy basketball. The floater, uh-uh. Sanders picks up her second. Tucker at the line. 6.5 points a game. Missed the free throw. And Abby has six points in this game. Both of these teams, TCA and Fay Academy, absolutely decimated by graduation this past summer, missing both. Arnold with the rebound for the Lions. 
Williams in the front court. Inside, Cleek, turn around. Knocked on every window, but didn't go through. Cleek again. Williams. Open three, too strong. You can tell that from the get-go. TCA, excuse me, Fayette County, back quickly. Shot skims off, but Laney Williams will be called for the foul. Laney picks up her first. And it's our third team foul. Tucker, who was just at the line, 0 for 2. Make that now 0 for 3. Oh, Riley's at a church retreat tonight. I did not know that. Missed them both. Tucker over four. Little contact. Faye Cag will be called for the foul. Lily Gilbert picks up the foul. Her first. TC will inbound the ball in front of the student section for Faye Academy. Cleek from the free throw line. Good. Drains it. Cleek with five. Buck 23 to go in the half. Three ball skims off. And the basketball out of bounds favoring TCA. And here come the Lions. Cleek bringing the ball in the front court. Pass inside. Cleek, take that shot. Wide open, Joyce. Too strong. Rebound, Lions. Arnold with a steal, gives it off to Laney Williams. She pushes the ball up the court. Stop, kick out, three, uh-uh. Rebound lines, Arnold shot up, yes. Arnold with her first bucket, she's got four. Three ball up, and it's good. Caitlin Cannon, how appropriate a last name is that on that shot. TCA with the basketball, five seconds. Payne the back of the ball game for TCA, replacing Lane Williams. TCA, Arnold, shots up and block, rebound, good. Mary Grace Cleek's bucket was good. And TCA, 26. And Faith Academy, 15. We're going to take this short time out. When we come back, we'll have stats and analysis from the first half. You're watching the halftime show. Your life. Your home. Your business. Your future. Focusing on you, West Tennessee Bank strives to serve its clients in every season of life. With vast experience in personal and business banking, we take pride in guiding you through significant events. At West Tennessee Bank, we help you realize your dreams. West Tennessee Bank is a division of Decatur County Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. West Tennessee Bank, focused on you. Hello, I'm Chad P. Wilson with Foundation Bank, a family-owned community bank here in West Tennessee. Your checking account should be more than just a place to store your money. Our foundation benefits with high interest checking account, pays you interest, but also includes identity theft monitoring, cell phone protection, and roadside assistance. Start a financial conversation with us today by visiting our website, foundationbank.org, or call us on the number on your screen. In the meantime, God bless you. Foundation Bank is Division of McKenzie Banking Company, member FDIC. Terms and conditions apply. 
Is old Frosty on its last legs? Don't wait until it's old and cold. Give your home and family the gift of comfort. A new York HVAC system with a free 10-year parts and labor warranty from McCoy's Heating and Air. Get the security and savings of a 10-year parts and labor warranty free with the purchase of qualifying systems. So you and your whole family can celebrate in comfort with the gift that keeps on giving. A new York HVAC system delivered by Santa and his merry team of technicians at McCoy's Heating and Air. For the past 22 years, Tennessee Tractor has been committed to you, our customers. That's why our locally owned business delivers great John Deere products with great service at a great price. From the backyard to the back 40, whatever size project your family's got, you can rely on us to help you get it done. From our friendly staff to our reliable equipment and our quality service, Tennessee Tractor has one goal, to keep you and your family up and running. Hometown value, hometown service. That's Tennessee Tractor. No matter where you are, You can shop 24-7 at HumboldtDodgeChryslerJeep.com with the area's largest used car inventory. It's the off-season, but it's the best season to buy at Aloha Custom Pools. Snag your dream pool now, and we promise you'll be splashing around by Memorial Day. What are you waiting for? Give us a call or visit us at AlohaCustomPools.com. Back here at Faith Academy in Somerville, Tennessee. My name is Stan Gerard. The boys of TC Athletics, Diamond and Dave McCulley, has the night off. Let's take a look at these. Well, actually, our score here it's TCA 26 and 15 for Faith Academy. TCA led 8 6 and rather lethargic. First quarter of action, both teams picked up the pace in the second quarter. Here's the scoring first for Faith Academy. With three points, Caitlin Cannon on one field goal. Hannah Logan with three points, one field goal, one for the charity. Lily Gilbert, a three ball for three points. Faye Academy is led by Abby Tucker. She has got three field goals, but she is 0 for 4 from the. Well, thank you very much. The nice, the nice folks at uh, Bay Academy pumping our broadcast. We appreciate that. Scoring for TC. That was a pleasant surprise. For TCA, Anna Sanders, one bucket, two. Annie Payne, one bucket, two. Mary Grace Cleek, or excuse me, Mallory Arnold, one bucket, two, two from Cherry for four. Mary Grace Cleek, three field goals for seven. TCA is led by Troy Robinson, 11 points on four field goals, one from long distance, and Tory is two of three from charity here in the first half. We're going to take another timeout, and when we come back, we'll have the second half of action right here on the Ball Game Blitz. Hello, folks. This is Gary Deaton right here at Deaton's Carpet One. I want to let you know we've been in business for 48 years. Here's what I believe has made the difference. Our lifetime labor warranty on everything we install. Our healthy living installation, bacteria and germs cannot survive in our new flooring. Our beautiful guarantee, if you don't just love it, we'll replace it. It will make your flowing experience priceless. We're located on Freedom Highway, 1000 Highway 45 Bypass in good old Jackson, Tennessee. Dynamics Physical Therapy, your elite provider in sports medicine and performance. Now serving communities throughout West Tennessee. Not your typical car dealer ad. You usually see words like this. And numbers like this. I'm not doing it. We have discounts. We have special interest rates, just like everybody else. What they don't have is me. 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 
Me. Me. Buy your next vehicle where you feel comfortable, and that's with us. Visit online for savings and rates. You should already be here. This is Do you want your smile to say it all? At Elite Dental Care, we'll make you and your family feel comfortable and secure with a variety of services and state-of-the-art care. We offer sedation dentistry that will make your time in the dental chair comfortable and relaxed. Come by and see our newly renovated and expanded office in Jackson or one of our other convenient locations in Trenton or Dyersburg. Trust your smile with Elite Dental Care and let your smile say it all. Buying a home is a major milestone, and at the Bank of Jackson, we want to help you achieve it. Our mortgage specialists can assist you with conventional, VA, FHA, or construction loans, as well as USDA and THDA development loans. Serving the Jackson area for 25 years. The Bank of Jackson, your down-home community bank. You belong here. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. thriving and the blacksmith restaurant is leading the pack from the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio eating local with family is what we're about live local eat local relax local Mortar Wealth Solutions LLC offers experienced and diversified services throughout the greater Tennessee area. Water Wealth Solutions specializes in water well drilling operations. Their experience in the design, construction, and maintenance of wells from 4 to 16 inches in diameter and depths up to 1,000 feet. Water Wealth Solutions has three locations in Somerville, Brownsville, and Trenton. For a consultation, give them a call at 731-779-1275. Why go on vacation when you can live on vacation? Aloha Custom Pools will help you create your very own piece of paradise and you can enjoy it every day. What are you waiting for? Take the plunge. Call Aloha Custom Pools or visit us online. Buy a car in your bikini. Buy a truck in your jammies. Buy an SUV in your, well, <laughs> no matter what you're wearing or not. Shop JonesChevroletHumboldt.com with the area's largest used car inventory. And we're back here, whoops. And we're back here at Beta Academy High School. I was talking to public address announcer. A friend of mine, TC leads 26 to 15. But they have Coach Peek almost make it through there, can he? Here's the scoring again for Beta Academy. Cannon with three, Logan with three, Gilbert with three. And Tucker with six for TCA. Abby Payne with two. Mallory Allen with four. Anna Sanders with two. Mary Grace Cleek with seven. TCA is led tonight by Tori Robinson with four field goals. Two three for Cherry for 11. Bay Academy had six field goals in the first half. Two three-pointers, and they were one out of five from the Cherry Stripe. For TCA, they had 10 field goals. Two from long range. TCA a very healthy 80% from Cherry, 4-5. And we're just about set for second half action. TCA and Faye Academy. There'll be TCA basketball as we begin our second half of action. Tori back to Sanders. Tried to thread the needle down low to Arnold into the double team. Faye Academy on the move. Falls on the deck. Shot up. No, it's going to go out of bounds. And that should be Faye Academy basketball. And it is. Faye Academy looking, looking, they get the ball in. Shots up and good. Hersky with her first bucket of the night. Hersky averaging six points a ball game. 
TCA, a little trouble with the front court, but they make it. Diagonal pass. Four, three, no. TCA fighting for the rebound. Balls in the deck, they lose it. Ball goes out of bounds. And it should be. Wow, I thought the Fade Academy was going to get the ball. Don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Joyce on the wing. Distributing in the middle. Shots up, bouncing, bouncing, good. Tori Robinson with 13 on the night. Twenty-eight, seventeen. Lions. Talk about the three. Drive to the baseline. It's Tucker off the glass. Too strong. Rebound. TCA. And to the front court. Tory Robinson up and good. Tory Robinson. Tory with fifteen tonight. Diagonal pass in the middle, good shot down low. Kick out, open two, too strong. Rebound by Arnold. Here's a shot up, and good. Eddie Payne. Now with two buckets and four points. Ah. Uh, Broadcasters are grateful for the cough button. Steele, Arnold, driving to the hoop, coast to coast for the Passing deuce. Is Arnold, she's got six, and Faye Academy wants a timeout. 34-17 on the ball game blitz. Your life. Your home. Your business. Your future. Focusing on you, West Tennessee Bank strives to serve its clients in every season of life. With vast experience in personal and business banking, we take pride in guiding you through significant events. At West Tennessee Bank, we help you realize your dreams. West Tennessee Bank is a division of Decatur County Bank, Equal Housing Lender, member FDIC. West Tennessee Bank, focused on you. I will tell you this, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know who's playing the music here, but they are on point. Louie Louie is on the jukebox. Oh my. Almost got me dancing. And no, Gail, I didn't suddenly get better. I was just kind of moving my arms around a little bit. Faye Academy basketball, skip. Down to the baseline. Spin move, shot up. Good move, couldn't get the drop was Logan. TCA pushing the ball up the court. Diagonal to the side, too tall, out of bounds. Faith Academy ball. I'd say about uh, oh, about a 45% crowd for Faith Academy here tonight. A lot less for TCA. Long trip down here. Here's a shot from three, dead pans off the back porch. Cleek pushing the ball up the court. Driving, kick out, Cleek on the wing. Joyce, Arnold with the move, kick out. Four, three, swish. Three point basket by Anna Sanders. Anna Sanders with the bucket. She's got five. It's so dark in this gym, I almost have to look for the names by the size of their ponytails. TC with the double trap in the corner. Arnold with some nice help defense. Back in the paint, drop down help. Shots up and good, nice move by Hertzke against a double team help. Hertzke with four. Cleek gets the ball to the front court. Wrap around pass. Arnold up off the glass. It's good. 
Carl with eight. Coach P, Philip Robinson, doing the camera work tonight. Ball loose. It's on the deck. Faye Academy gets it back. And now stolen by TCA. Payne in the front court. Here's Cleek. She drains it. Mary Grace Cleek. Mary Grace has nine. Getting better and better all the time. Barring injury, this young lady is going to be a superstar. That's a travel no call, but we'll take it. Shaga, too strong, backside rebound, TCA. Been a well-officiated game so far. Arnold off this, oh, missed the bunny. Rebound, Shaga. No, but a foul. Well, as, as I would say to Diamond Dave, if he was here, you got to finish that play, dog. Caitlin Cannon with her third personal. First foul in Spade Academy in the quarter. Payne, the high archer, brings rain. It also brings one point. For the Lady Lions, number 12, Corey Robinson. For the Lady Vikings, number 24, Addison McCann, and number 35, Anna Craig. Payne. 60%. Has improved on that number as she drops both of those charity shots. 43-19. Well, Fay Academy's already scored more points here in the third quarter than they did the entire last game. Here's a steal. Cleek pushing the ball to the court. Three on two. The drive, the left-handed floater. Uh-uh. Rebound, Hannon Craig into the ball game. Ball off the foot of Logan. But they're gonna say last touch by TCA. 2.14 to go in our third quarter. Try to go down low. Arnold cuts it off. Smart play, didn't have anywhere to go. Bounce it off our leg, out of bounds. Faye Academy will retain possession. They'll set something up here off of a couple of cuts low. There's one. They go with a high outside wing cut. The running hook. Logan with five on the running baby hook. Faye Academy not giving up in this ball game, showing a much better performance than they did at TCA. Cleek missed it. Arnold fighting for the rebound. Jump ball. Possession arrow to Faye Academy. Getting a little physical out there. Joyce goes to the bench. Check that. That's Arnold going to the bench. For those of you keeping the minutes in your playbooks, the scoring columns. To the wing, into the corner. Skip pass. Here's a three on the way. Uh-uh. Long rebound. Cleek chases it down the corner. He's double teamed. Payne gets to the Bulldog across midcourt. Laney. That eighth grade connection Mary works Grace again. Cleek. Mary Grace Cleek in double digits with a couple of sticks. She's got 11. 45-21, here comes TCA. Tori Robinson up the court, bounce pass, shot up, no. Rebound, shot up, no. Rebound. And a whistle. Caitlin Cannon for Fayette Academy picks up her fourth. And she'll come to the butt bench. Logan also out of the game. Inbound play, shot up, no. 
A little bit of pressure. TCA gets the double team, almost gets the steal. They've got the numbers game. They throw it up, short armed it. And the foul's on the play. Who are they going to call it on? Lady Williams gets her second. Into the paint, Tucker hook, no. Rebound, had to be a foul there somewhere, and there was. Hannah Craig, her first. Third team foul of the quarter. TCA in the front court, two on one. Good luck with the head, they pull it back. Troy Robinson goes to the hoop. She's hack fouled. And they're going to say just off of Tory. Wow. Go if it goes. And we come to the end of the third quarter play. Our score at the end of three. TCA moving out to the comfortable lead. It's 45 to 21. We're back after this on the ball game blitz. Is Old Frosty on its last legs? Don't wait until it's old and cold. Give your home and family the gift of comfort. A new York HVAC system with a free 10-year parts and labor warranty from McCoy's Heating and Air. Get the security and savings of a 10-year parts and labor warranty free with the purchase of qualifying systems. So you and your whole family can celebrate in comfort with the gift that keeps on giving. A new York HVAC system delivered by Santa and his merry team of technicians at McCoy's Heating and Air. It's the off season, but it's the best season to buy at Aloha Custom Pools. Snag your dream pool now, and we promise you'll be splashing around by Memorial Day. What are you waiting for? Give us a call or visit us at alohacustompools.com. No matter where you are, you can shop 24-7 at HumboldtDodgeChryslerJeep.com with the area's largest used car inventory. Academy TCA with a comfortable 45 21 in the lead. Payne with six. Arnold with eight. Sanders with five. Cleek with 11. And Tory Robinson with 15 on six field goals. A couple of free throws. Fay Academy with the basketball. Into the corner. Back out to the top of the key. They need help. Stolen. TCA lose it right back. Nice thread of the needle. Shots up. Missed it on the short arm. Was Gilbert. Had the bunny. Couldn't get it to fall. Side out. Fay Academy. They get the ball on the right wing. Shots up. Bouncing. No. Another rebound. Baseline, turn around, no. Both teams having some trouble with their interior shot selection. Driving scoop, shot, no. Here comes Faye Academy, two on two. Shot up, no, rebound by Trinity. And in the front court is Sanders, Cleek. Here's Joyce. Three bomb on the way. High Archer does not bring rain. And Faith Academy with the board. The TCA lead is 24. Shot, penetration, it's good. Let's see. Let's see who that guy is. A Mary, and I don't have a Mary on my roster. Well, we'll try and figure that one out. I thought it was Tucker anyway. There's a shot, no, no foul. Bay Academy 
on the loose. They uh, get the ball stolen by TCA. Arnold chases the pass down. Looking then, Arnold take it up. Work on that baseline shot and take it up. Three on the way. Bouncing, no. Hit the guy wire up top. And that's out of play. Robinson and Williams back in for TCA. Nikki Castles, Jimmy Paguaga, Randy Coble, Jimmy Payne, Ashley Clampett, Bonnie Coble among those watching in. Five and a half to go in this contest. Ball on the inside, it's on the deck. They retain possession. They being Fayette Academy outside wing of three off the glass. It's good. And it's by McNabb. Number 24. Another ball on the deck. And a timeout on the floor. 45 26, 5 13 to go. We're back after this on the ball game blitz. We realize you have a busy lifestyle. And at the Bank of Jackson, we're here to help you fulfill all of your financial needs, personal and business loans, mortgages, online banking and bill pay, and so much more. Serving the Jackson area for 25 years. The Bank of Jackson, your down-home community bank. You belong here. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Well, I can tell you this, Michael. I personally now recommend Ricola. The um, cough drop PA announcer gave to me is outstanding. Ray Garrett, he's scoring this game at home. Coach Robertson's signing eight by 10 glossies for his fan club. Me and Coach Van Senior just working a ball game. As we come back to play, it will be Pay the Cabinet basketball. Yeah, nothing but a class crowd. A class crowd, Jimmy Payne. Side out, Pay the Cabinet. They get the ball in the corner. Logan's looking. She gets some help from Snodgrass. In the paint, kick out, bounces, bounces, no. Rebound, Mary Grace Cleek. Nice job of extension, getting and protecting that ball and getting the rebound. Inside, Cleek over the top, and it's good. Tori Robinson with 17. Forty-seven, twenty-six. Pay Academy works around the horn. Penetration. They're cut off. CC trying for the steal. Out of bounds. Should be Lady Vikings basketball. They get a nice steal by TCA as they try to go backside. Troy Robinson, Cleek, bounces off the side of the rim, and a whistle on the play. Lane Williams is her third personal. Coach Williams coming back in with his box lunch or box dinner. Kick out three from the corner. Bouncing no. Fight for the rebound. And it's going to be TCA basketball out of bounds. This is a newer gym for Fay Academy. I've done a ball game in their old gym. That was an interesting place. I like this gym much better. The drive, the pass, the shot, skimmed off, rebound, no, but a foul. That 
Cam picks up the foul. That should be her fifth. That's and her it is. So Caitlin Cannon fouls out of the game with six points. Two shots for Amy Payne. Amy Payne at the line. High Archer is no good. Amy with six points. She's two for three for Cherry Payne was a 60% free throw shooter coming into this game. And Payne is now three for four. You're right, uh, Jenny Payne, they've done a whale of a job. Running hook, no good. Fight for the ball, too strong. Cleek gets it, gets stolen. Hook shot up good in the foul. Logan. Logan with the bucket. Sanders with the foul. Arnold and Joyce back in for TCA. One shot for Logan. Logan. Free throws no good. TCA with a blast. Tori tried to go to the bucket. She was ridden like My Little Pony on the play. It'll be side out TCA. Backside play up, oh, no, but a foul. And the Bulldog going to the line, shooting a deuce. Stole that line from NFL Films. Laney Williams shoots two. Laney Williams. Bouncing, bouncing, no. Substitution for Trinity, number 20, Anna Sanders. Robinson. Tristan Vales, Duels watching from Jacksonville, Florida tonight. You're welcome, Larry. Both shots were no good. They're watching in the Sunshine State. Sanders dribbles the ball out of trouble. Just over two and a half. Inside, back out. TCA doing a good job burning clock. Here's the cutting. Play. Oh, rejection out of town. Swatted it like a fly. Paying in for Williams. Looking, looking is Cleek. Gets it in. Down low. That's good denial of defense by Faye Academy. Folks, if you're watching this on replay, notice the angle, had to hit that 10 second back button. Notice the angle that she took to defend that play. That's good technique, good basketball on that defense by the Faye Academy youngster. Faye Academy dribbling, shot. No, came out. That was Gilbert. Under two minutes to go in this contest. Payne into the front court. Needs help. Cleek with the basketball. Balls on the deck again. Good job by Faye Academy getting their body into the passing lane, obstructing the pass for TCA. Turnover Lions. In case you haven't noticed, Stan likes to see good defensive play. Good technique. Tucker drives, scoop. Nothing there. 
Down the corner of the Lions. Shot up and good. Mary Grace Cleek. Mary Grace Cleek with 13. Timeout on the floor, timeout taken by the Academy, but I think we're going to stay here. So just a substitution timeout. As Hannah Logan has come out of the game for the Lions, or for the Lady Vikings. Backing down, kick out, three on the way. Bounced off, no. Sanders with the rebound for TCA. Into the corner, tried to go into Arnold, ball taken away by Fay Academy. Here's Tucker. Three off, Cleek backside rebound. Now they are on, wants that basketball. She's going to take the ball, put it on a plate, and That's drives it home. Three. She's in double digits with 10. And we come to the end of the ball game. Our final score, the TCA 52 at Fay Academy, 28. We'll take a two-minute break. When we come back, stats of this game, and then we'll get you set for boys' action. Right here on the Ball Game Blitz. Hello, folks. This is Gary Dean, right here at Deaton's Carpet One. I want to let you know we've been in business for 48 years. Here's what I believe has made the difference. Our lifetime labor warrant on everything we install. Our healthy living installation, bacteria and germs cannot survive in our new flooring. Our beautiful guarantee, if you don't just love it, we'll replace it. It will make your flooring experience priceless. We're located on Freedom Highway, 1000 Highway 45 Bypass in good old Jackson, Tennessee. Dynamics Physical Therapy, your elite provider in sports medicine and performance. Now serving communities throughout West Tennessee. Not your typical car dealer ad. You usually see words like this. And numbers like this. I'm not doing it. We have discounts. We have special interest rates, just like everybody else. What they don't have is me. 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 Buy your next vehicle where you feel comfortable, and that's with us. Visit online for savings and rates. You should already be here. Do you want your smile to say it all? At Elite Dental Care, we'll make you and your family feel comfortable and secure with a variety of services and state-of-the-art care. We offer sedation dentistry that will make your time in the dental chair comfortable and relaxed. Come by and see our newly renovated and expanded office in Jackson or one of our other convenient locations in Trenton or Dyersburg. Trust your smile with Elite Dental Care and let your smile say it all. Buying a home is a major milestone and at the Bank of Jackson, we want to help you achieve it. Our mortgage specialists can assist you with conventional, VA, FHA, or construction loans, as well as USDA and THDA development loans. Serving the Jackson area for 25 years. The Bank of Jackson, your down-home community bank. You belong here. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. And we're back here at Fane Academy. My name is Stan Dro. We come to you live from Summertown or Somerville, Tennessee. On the campus of Fane Academy where the TCA Lay Lions have knocked off Fane Academy by a score of 58 or 52 to 28. And I will say this, Fane Academy played much, much, much better 
than they did in their first outing at TCA, and I'm happy for them. They did not give up and was proud of their effort tonight. Let's take a look at the numbers here from this first game. First for Faith Academy. It was Addison McNabb with a field goal for three. Lily Gilbert with a field goal for three. Hersky two field goals for four. Kayla Cannon, two field goals for six. Hannah Logan, three field goals, one three for Cherry for seven. And the leading score tonight for Faye Academy was Abby Tucker, four field goals, all of four from the free throw line, and she had eight points. Faye Academy had 13 field goals in the game, four from long range, and they were one of six from the charity strike. Oh. Here's the scoring for TCA. Every girl but two scored who dressed tonight. Anna Sanders, two field goals, five points. Lane Williams played, did not score. Annie Payne, two field goals, three or four for charity, seven points. With 10 points, Mallory Arnold. Four field goals, two, two for charity for 10. With 13 points, Mary Grace Cleek. Six field goals, one from long range for 13 points. At leading TCA tonight, she averages 11 four. Well, she had four, seven field goals, two or three from Cherry. One of those field goals in the long range, and Tori Robinson dropped in 17 points in the game tonight. For Trinity Christian Academy, they had 21 field goals, three from long range, and they went convenience store on free throws. And by that, they went seven out of 11 from the free throw line. Looking at the current standings. Oh, by the way, Jackson Christian, that last check in the girls' action, is leading by some huge number, and they've ended up winning that ball. And Jackson Christian is 6-6 six and six now, 5-2 and two in district play. TCA, 8-16. and 16. They are 5-3 and three in district play. So TCA win it within a half game of second place at Jackson Christian has two games with Faye Academy in the upcoming days. Faye Academy drops to 8 and 11. They are 3 and 4 in the district play. They have Jackson Christian twice to end the season. Among those watching now, the all-time leading scorer in the history of TCA men's basketball, Matthew Valentine is watching tonight, Scott Stoops checking in. And what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna take a break. And when we come back, we'll get you set for boys action. It's right here on the Ball Game Blitz. Our town is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. Morgan Wealth Solutions LLC offers experienced and diversified services throughout the greater Tennessee area. Morgan Wealth Solutions specializes in water well drilling operations. Their experience in the design, construction, and maintenance of wells from 4 to 16 inches in diameter and depths up to 1,000 feet. Water Well Solutions has three locations in Somerville, Brownsville, and Trenton. For a consultation, give them a call at 731-779-1275. Why go on vacation when you can live on vacation? Aloha Custom Pools will help you create your very own piece of paradise and you can enjoy it every day. What are you waiting for? 
Aloha. Take the plunge. Call Aloha Custom Pools or visit us online. Buy a car in your bikini. Buy a truck in your jammies. Buy an SUV in your, well, <laughs> no matter what you're wearing or not. Shop Jones Chevrolet Humboldt.com with the area's largest used car inventory. And we're back here at the T Dome on the campus of. No, we're not in the T Dome. We're not at home. We're in Somerville, the home of the 18 minute McDonald's. Me and Dave left the Bay Academy one night, stopped at McDonald's, got a sandwich on the way home. We were in the drive through line for a record breaking 18 minutes in there. Take a look at this boys game. Let's get you the standings for the boys, and this is as of this morning. USJ 20 and 4, 9 and 1 in district play. They have Scotts Hill and TCA. TCA 8. Check that. TCA is 8 and 17, 8 and 2. They're getting ready to play Fay Academy, and we'll close out the season on Tuesday at USJ. Jackson Christian, 16 and 7, 5 and 3. They've got Tipton Rosemark tonight. A couple of games with Faye Academy. And I've not noticed where they played Natchez Trace yet. Sagan Hart, 10 and 10 on the season, 5 and 4 in region play. They've got TRA, USJ, and TRA. Faye Academy, 10 and 13, 3 and 6. They're getting ready to play, of course, TCA. They've got two games with a Jackson Christian. Tipton Rosemark, 7-11, 1 and 6. Take a look at these two teams. First, we'll take a look at Faye Academy. They are led to scoring by Corbin Bowling. 12.3 points a ball game. Corbin Bowling was their quarterback in all region. Second team selection, if I recall. Corbin Bowling hurt his leg Matter of fact, he broke his leg in Faye Academy's playoff game this past fall. He just came back right before Christmas. Corbin Bowling averaged 12.3 points a game, 85% from charity, and getting 4.2 rebounds. He is wearing number 12. You're going to want to keep an eye on Corbin Bowling. Also in double digits, another member of that football team, Harris Armour. Armour, a 56% free throw shoot, 3.6 rebounds, averages 10.5 points a ball game. Another selection at 9.4 points a ball game is number two, Clay Anderson. Clay shoots 57% from the field, and grabs almost three rebounds, or almost four rebounds per ball game. And another Faye Academy player to keep your eye on, is Zane Pike, yep, another football player for the Vikings. Pike, the wide receiver, tight end type guy. He averages 6.8, 5.6 boards for the Vikings. In the last game between these two teams, it was Miles Dawkins led the way with 18 points. Corbin Bowling had seven. And they lost to TC last week, 86 to 30. Faye Academy only scoring 14 points in the last three quarters combined. And I can promise you and tell you this Faye Academy will give a much better performance tonight than they gave at our house. Take a look at TCA. Of course, they're led in scoring by the two young men who just entered the 1,000-point club, those being Caleb Williams and Braden Waller. Waller averaging 15-6. Excuse me, Williams averaging 15-6, and Waller averaging 13-9. Other players from TCA averaging 9.9 .9 points a game. It's going to be the little general, Gabriel Lee, and he's been white hot the last few ball games shooting the rock. Averaging 8.6 points a ball game, Drake Fadoff, 43% from 46% for Cherry at 
six boards per ball game. Zach Nivens averaging 8.1, 67% for Cherry and three rebounds a ball game. And Lakai Thompson, you can't forget him. Excuse me, folks. Lakai shoot just under 63% from the field, 8.5 points a ball game. And he's grabbing just under six rebounds a ball game for a TCA. We're going to take a break, and when we come back, the starting lineups for tonight's action right here on the Ball Game Blitz. Give me three. Hi, I'm Stan Gerard for your local Food Right. Food Right is the home of the butcher. Food Right is proud to sell certified Angus beef. It's the very best there is. All of our beef, signature pork, and chicken products are cut and packed fresh daily by our in-store butchers. To feed your family well, Food Right, with 11 locations across West Tennessee, is where you need to go. Have a great day, everyone, and much more importantly, God bless. Your life. Your home. Your business. Your future. Focusing on you, West Tennessee Bank strives to serve its clients in every season of life. With vast experience in personal and business banking, we take pride in guiding you through significant events. At West Tennessee Bank, we help you realize your dreams. West Tennessee Bank is a division of Decatur County Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. West Tennessee Bank, focused on you. Hello, I'm Chad P. Wilson with Foundation Bank, a family-owned community bank here in West Tennessee. Your checking account should be more than just a place to store your money. Our foundation benefits with high interest checking account, pays you interest, but also includes identity theft monitoring cell phone protection, and roadside assistance. Start a financial conversation with us today by visiting our website, foundationbank.org, or call us on the number on your screen. In the meantime, God bless you. Foundation Bank is a division of McKinsey Banking Company, member FDIC. Terms and conditions apply. Is Old Frosty on its last legs? Don't wait until it's old and cold. Give your home and family the gift of comfort. A new York HVAC system with a free 10-year parts and labor warranty from McCoy's Heating and Air. Get the security and savings of a 10-year parts and labor warranty free with the purchase of qualifying systems. So you and your whole family can celebrate in comfort with the gift that keeps on giving. A new York HVAC system delivered by Santa and his merry team of technicians at McCoy's Heating and Air. For the past 22 years, Tennessee Tractor has been committed to you, our customers. That's why our locally owned business delivers great John Deere products with great service at a great price. From the backyard to the back 40, whatever size project your family's got, you can rely on us to help you get it done. From our friendly staff to our reliable equipment and our quality service, Tennessee Tractor has one goal, to keep you and your family up and running. Hometown value, hometown service. That's Tennessee Tractor. No matter where you are, you can shop 24-7 at HumboldtDodgeChryslerJeep.com with the area's largest used car inventory. It's the off-season, but it's the best season to buy at Aloha Custom Pools. Snag your dream pool now, and we promise you'll be splashing around by Memorial Day. What are you waiting for? Give us a call or visit us at AlohaCustomPools.com. Starting lineups for a TCA. It's going to be number zero, Brayden Waller. Number one, Caleb Williams. The little general, number three, Gabriel Lee. Number five, Drake Craddock. And number 21, a Cooper Vale. So again, for TCA, it's Waller, Williams, Lee, Craddock, and Vales. And take a look at the Fade Academy Vikings lineup. It's going to be number 12, Corbin Bowling. 
Another senior, number 10, Landon Abernathy. It's going to be another senior, number zero, Miles Dawkins. Another senior, Wyatt Morris, number 23. And a senior, number 25, J.H. Anderson. So this is a TCA, or excuse me, a Fayette Academy Ball Club playing their last, or most likely their last game in this facility. For Fay Academy, it's Dawkins, Abernathy, Bowling, Morris, and Anderson. Or TCA, Waller, Williams, Lee, Craddock, and Cooper Vales. Brad Kelton checking in. Waller to jump against. Abernathy, a couple of small guards. Abernathy does not contest the jump ball. And TCA into the front court. Gabriel Lee, in and out, no good. Rebound, Faith Academy. That's bowling, number 12. He's going to handle the rock a lot. Outside three, uh-uh. That was Dawkins. Rebound TCA, Lee. In the corner, Caleb Williams. Skimmed off, rebound TCA. Double team in the corner. Down low, wrap around. Caleb Williams gets the ball out to Vales. Caleb's gonna try again. Miss left, backside rebound by Bowling. Carolyn Troxtel checking in. Tommy Chapman. Baseline move, wrap around, and they lose the ball out of bounds. Turnover, Fay Academy. Had a man on the right side, wanted to get to, tried to wrap around, and it's out of bounds. No score. There's a shot up uh, too strong. TCA a little cold to start this game. Well, both teams actually six and a half and still no score. Throwing up a wing and a prayer by Abernathy. Into the corner, baseline. Well, I thought Williams lost that ball out of bounds, but they said off of Vikings. Like I said in the girls game, I'll take it. In the paint, pass, crack, short arm, his own rebound, and it's up and good. Our first tie of the ball game. TCA's with some pressure, they break it. Dawkins, up and good, and no, that was not Daryl Dawkins. Those of you old timers like me that remember Daryl Dawkins. Bay Academy picks off the pass. That was Wyatt Morris. Ball. Out of bounds, the last touch by TCA. Well, we're selling the muscle into the game. Makai Tompkins replacing Gabriel Lee. That's bowling. Driving his veils to the best quarterbacks in the region last year. Abernathy. They're trying to weave. They get the ball in the corner. Tried to do something on the screen. Couldn't get it. Bowling goes baseline. Forces one up. It's short. Rebound. Lions. Here comes Waller. Bounce pass. 
No, but Big Lakai Tompkins is fouled in the act. J.H. Anderson picks up the foul, his first. Lakai Tompkins is good. Blake Butler checking in tonight. What do you say, coach? Glad to see you watching. Tompkins got them both. And this game is tied for its second time at four. Bowling, he's gifted, he misses that one. Makai Tompkins with the rebound. Caleb Williams shakes, bakes to the corner. Uh-uh. Backside board, Morris. Bowling. He was picked by Vales, but Vales couldn't handle it. Went out of bounds right in front of the scorer's table at midcourt. Abernathy pulled the trigger for Faye Academy. Gets to the Dawkins. Dawkins is the player who hurt us so much the last time. And he loses the basketball out of bounds. And it will be Faye Academy basketball. Referee never pointed. Inside, fade away, shots blocked. Lakai gets a piece of it. Bales in the front court. Williams from the corner, no. But a foul on the play. Dawkins picks up his first. Caleb Williams shooting the three spot. 82% from the cherry stripe, and I jinxed him, he missed it. Now one of two. And TCA retakes the lead. Friendly roll off the pig iron for Caleb Williams. He's two for three and TCA leads 6-4. Pressure, Lions. The Academy rotates out of it into the front court. Into the wing on the give and go. Not a great pass, but credit the youngster for staying with it. Waller's going to get the foul, his first. But what I was saying is credit Clay Anderson for sticking with it, kind of going back to get a tough pass. His free throw is true. Clay gets them both. And this game is tied at six, the tie at two, four, and six. And in the corner go the Lions. Back out to Vales. Ball movement in the paint, up good, Waller. Our fourth lead change. TCA doing a great job working the ball around the perimeter before finding somebody in the middle. The Academy's in trouble here. And they call a timeout. 8-6 TCA leads. We're back after this in the ball game blitz. This is not your typical car dealer ad. You usually see words like this. And numbers like this. I'm not doing it. We have discounts. We have special interest rates, just like everybody else. What they don't have is me. 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 Buy your next vehicle where you feel comfortable, and that's with us. Visit online for savings and rates. You should already be here. Academy 
the band entertain at halftime or in between the, or during timeouts, I should say. After the timeout, Corbin Bowling will inbound the basketball as we resume play. Driving, the ball dribbled off of Waller's foot and he never knew it. And in the corner, here goes the baseline move. We got a whistle, should be before the shot, against TCA. Caleb Williams picks up his first. Waller out. Craddock re-enters the game. Three up and good. Miles Dawkins with the bucket. He's got five. In and out for TCA Lakai. The three rebound kick out three. Good. By the general Gabriel Lee. 11 9. TCA with the lead. Turn around shot, no. Kick out three, no. Lakai got the rebound. He missed one spot on the backboard though, clean the glass. Lee, shot was a little wide left, almost got wedged between the goal and the backboard. Bowling in the front court. Bowling guarded by Lakai. Bowling drives down the key, misses it. Rebound Lions. Zach Niven. Well, TCA gets the ball back. Hook shot up, that's good. Crack with his second bucket. He's got four. 13-9. 52 seconds to go in the quarter. Bouncing shot up and good. And Zane Pike with the bucket. 40 seconds remain in the quarter. Lee thought about it. Nivens takes it. He makes it. Three point basket joined by Zach Nivens. TCA slowly pulling away a little bit. They lead by five. 16 to 11. Six lead changes, three ties. The shot is no good. Take Academy with the offensive glass. And we come to the end of the first quarter play. Our score, TCA 16, Fay Academy 11. You're watching TCA basketball on the ball game blitz. Your life, your home, your business, your future. Focusing on you, West Tennessee Bank strives to serve its clients in every season of life. With vast experience in personal and business banking, we take pride in guiding you through significant events. At West Tennessee Bank, we help you realize your dreams. West Tennessee Bank is a division of Decatur County Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. West Tennessee Bank, focused on you. Hello, I'm Chad P. Wilson with Foundation Bank, a family-owned community bank here in West Tennessee. Your checking account should be more than just a place to store your money. Our foundation benefits with high interest checking account, pays you interest, but also includes identity theft monitoring, cell phone protection, and roadside assistance. Start a financial conversation with us today by visiting our website, foundationbank.org, or call us on the number on your screen. In the meantime, God bless you. Foundation Bank is a division of McKinsey Banking Company, member FDIC. Terms and conditions apply. Claire Miller and Keely Smith among those watching. As we begin the second quarter, TCA up by five, 
it's 16 to 11. Dawkins with five for Fay Academy. Craddock with four for the Lions. Three short. And a foul is going to be called on Quiet Morris. Morris will pick up his first. First team foul of the quarter. I still can't get used to saying that. To the wing, off the glass, no. Nivens picks up the foul for the push. His first. Team's first of the quarter. And T's, excuse me, Rosemark calls the timeout as they're approaching the 10 second mark. We'll take a quick break right here on the ball game blitz. Is old Frosty on its last legs? Don't wait until it's old and cold. Give your home and family the gift of comfort. A new York HVAC system with a free 10-year parts and labor warranty from McCoy's Heating and Air. Get the security and savings of a 10-year parts and labor warranty free with the purchase of qualifying systems. So you and your whole family can celebrate in comfort with the gift that keeps on giving. A new York HVAC system delivered by Santa and his merry team of technicians at McCoy's Heating and Air. 16-11 TCA leads after the timeout with 7.22 to go in this first half of the ball game. Appreciate the plug from the folks at Fayette County plugging the TCA broadcast down here. Very kind of them. Bowling gets rid of it. Armor Harris into the game. He saw Makai and kind of got scared, lost the basketball. I would too. Caleb Williams dialing long distance for three. He's got five. Peggy Scarlett checking in. Makai Tompkins rips some glass. Long outlet pass. Caleb Williams shows you why he's a nice wide receiver. Kicks out. Nivens, count it. For three. He's got six. TCA doubling up, Fayette Academy, 22 to 11. 6.20 to go here in the first. Half a play. Fayette Academy almost loses the good back. Inside move, shot up and good. And the foul. Zane Pike with a nice move to the hoop. Divins picks up his second. And Pike. Dennis, four points. We'll be at the line shooting one. Free throw is good with a friendly roll. Lee from the corner, in and out, no good. Bowling quickly to the front court. Fade away, it goes. That's Corbin Bowling's first points of the night. Nice individual move. Shot inside, foul before the shot. That looked a little ugly. Zane Pike picks up his first, team's third of the quarter. 
DCA inbounds it. Craddock dials long distance, no. Nobody home. Pressure by TCA. Stolen, Lee, off the glass, no. Corbin Bowling with a rebound for Faye Academy. Quickly in the front court, that's Abernathy. Abernathy gives it to Bowling. Shakes, tries to bake, fade away, good. Three move. Bowling, Corbin Bowling. Showing some fancy ball handling skills. 22-18. The lead's down to four. Drive to the hoop. That's Brayden Waller with his second bucket. TCA's lead is six. Abernathy with the basketball, needing help. Ball, that almost stolen. Dawkins, skip pass. That play had so much ugly on it, I thought it was one of my prom dates. That was ugly. Inside, fade away, blocked. TCA on the loose. Craddock with the ball. Lee, 4-3 as he tickles the twines. With his second three ball of the game. A little too much potty contact there. The foul on Gabriel Lee. Foul number three, Gabriel Lee. That's his first personal. His first. Third team foul of the quarter for the Lions. Bowling looking at pressure from Vales. The two quarterbacks. Joined by one of, if not the best wide receiver in the state last year in Braden Waller. Caleb Williams in and out, no. Bowling working against Williams. Quarterback wide receiver matchup there. Or quarterback DB. That's going to be a foul on Caleb Williams. Foul number one, Caleb Williams, second personal four two. Caleb Williams is making it work for him. He's playing patty cake with him. He says, I'm a baker's man. G.H. Anderson into the game. And here come the Lions. Lee stripped the basketball, loses it, Fay Academy ball. And in the front corner is Clay Anderson. Shot no with a foul. And we're gonna draw the charge. Offensive foul charge number two, Clay Anderson, first personal. Third team Clay's foul. Clay's first Vikings. personal, third team foul. Lions basketball. Vikings. TC basketball with 2.31 to go in our first half of play. 27-18. From the corner, from Memphis, it's Gabriel Lee. Third three of the night. 
Ball stolen. With the dunk on authority, the assist to Gabriel Lee. Braden Waller with the, no, that was a, that was, that was a, ba 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 hubba 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 hubba. That was quite off. No, with the, with the, with the dunk. Oh, I had it right the first time then. I got my eyes crossed. Well, well, the reason I thought I was double checking a number and the number that turned to face me was Craddock. That was the first number I saw when I looked. That was a nice speed though from Gabriel Lee. That figures I give a I give a great play a crummy call. Shot something good. Braden Waller with nine. Well, it should still be a good call. I just got to carefully edit it. Inside, Zane Pike. Zane Pike. He's got seven. Wide receiver for Faith Academy. With a kiss. Off the glass is Craddock with six. Thought about it, long range shot, no. Makai with the rebound. Hands off to Vales, Vales to the wing. Back out top around the horn. Lee three. It's 40 to 20 Lee with four. Zane Pike with the layup. It's good. He's got nine. 40 22. Foul is on J.H. Anderson. That should be his second. Foul is on the 25. J.H. Anderson, second personal, 15 foul. It's the 15th foul, so TCA will be shooting two free throws. Well, for the next 5.9 seconds. Lee off the backboard, no. We make the second. Good if it goes. And it's good. Dawkins with the bucket. And we go into the half. TCA 41. At Faye Academy 25. You're watching TC basketball on the ball game blitz. No matter where you are. You can shop 24-7 at HumboldtDodgeChryslerJeep.com with the area's largest used car inventory. It's the off season, but it's the best season to buy at Aloha Custom Pools. Snag your dream pool now, and we promise you'll be splashing around by Memorial Day. What are you waiting for? Give us a call or visit us at AlohaCustomPools.com. Hello folks, this is Gary Deaton, right here at Deaton's Carpet One. I want to let you know we've been in business for 48 years. Here's what I believe has made the difference. Our lifetime labor warrant on everything we install. Our healthy living installation, bacteria and germs cannot survive in our new flooring. Our beautiful guarantee, if you don't just love it, we'll replace it. It will make your flooring experience priceless. We're located on Freedom Highway, 1000 Highway 45 Bypass in good old Jackson, Tennessee.
Dynamics Physical Therapy, your elite provider in sports medicine and performance. Now serving communities throughout West Tennessee. TCA with the 41-25 lead at the half. Here's a quick look at the scoring summary. And we'll talk to Matthew Coble about the TCA victory this afternoon or this evening. For Faith Academy, Clay Anderson, two free throws, two points. Landon Abernathy, a field goal for two. Corbin Bowling, two field goals for four. Miles Dawkins, three field goals, two from long range for eight. And Zane Pike, four field goals, one of, not, one, of one for the free throw line. He leads Fay Academy with nine points. For TCA, Braden Waller with nine points, four field goals, one from long range. Caleb Williams with five, one field goal, two of three from Charity. Gabriel Lee with 13 points, four field goals, and one of two from Charity. Drake Craddock, six points on three field goals. Zach Niven, six points on two field goals. And Lakai Tompkins, two points on two of two from Cherry, TCA. Had 14 field goals in the first half, eight from long range, and they were five of seven for Charity. And it was Faith Academy, 10 field goals, two from long range, they were three of three from Cherry. I'm now joined by the head coach of the TCA Lions, Matthew Coble. Coach, last time I talked, we talked about getting out and taking care of business and letting things happen. You're within a half game of second place, Jackson Christian, with a record of five and three. If I talked to you three weeks ago, who the thunk it? Five and three. TC played well. Yeah, we we've gotten way better from where we were, and uh, so it's a good thing, you know, have it, get a home playoff game. And way well, it looks, we're going to play Friday and so that Saturday on the playoff round. So um, the team that we think we're going to play has agreed to it. So. Uh, so next Friday, you know, it's already crazy that it's tournament time. And you'll be sure at your earliest convenience, get me a uh, bracket mailed to me. Or email yeah, to our me. meeting's not till Thursday, but I'll get that to you as soon as we have it. I'll draw, just draw something up for me. <laughs> It'll be cool. You're official anyway, Matthew. Well, well, right, but the other side has some games that will on Wednesday, the day before, that will decide it. So. Now, are we are are there teams playing games through Wednesday? Or some of them chase it till Thursday. Some of them, some of some of them might play Thursday next next week. But because now you look at teams like you know uh, Rosemark, you know they still have five region games to go. Our our region's going to be done by Tuesday. I mean, our district's going to be done okay. by Tuesday. Their district on the other side is, has some going into Wednesday and Thursday. So you know, we I may not know until Thursday what their side looks like. Are all the are all the teams in our district going to get all their games there? Have some been dropped? Our district is going to have theirs in. I think theirs is going to get theirs in too. But I, I know it's Natchez Trace hadn't had a result with Jackson Christian or Rosemark, and I, uh, I couldn't find any results with Sacred Heart and Rosemark as well on the guys' side as examples. Um, and that's why and that's why I question that. Well, I can I, tip. Natchez has not played Rosemark, but they have played Jackson Christian. And yeah, that I can I can Okay. Well that's okay. I can tell you what games are left. Well let's on just let's just side. we'll worry we'll worry about that later. We know that some have been played, some of them just haven't been reported, let's just say that. Right. To, the, gotta, to the various reporting sources. You gotta dig and find so it's got you on dig Monday, up. Rosemark plays Carroll Academy and Jackson Christian plays Natchez Trace. Yeah. And then that should even everything up, and then Tuesday everybody will finish. Sounds like a big plan. And there's some games tomorrow too, but a lot of Saturday ball as well. But coach, look at this ball game again. Even without Riley Hidrogo, who's away on a church trip, nice balanced scoring. Robinson with 17, Mallory Arn with 10, and Mary Grace Cleek just continues to impress with 13 points. Yeah, for sure. Tori uh, just attacked and, you know, did what we expect her to do. So she's finally getting back a little bit. Um, and then Mary Grace just grows every game. And, you know, that's uh, expecting to be a help. And then Mallory, 
uh, finished around the rim tonight. And at that's those what baskets. you need so desperately need. come playoff time. Yeah, so you need to just finish the ones that you get. You get easy ones to finish it. I know and she's now she's getting a lot of shots inside. She's getting that ball a little higher. Now it's just a matter of getting your confidence to it and getting it to drop in. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Mallory's improved so much. Like I want, I actually want her to shoot more. Like my mind, my, her mindset has got to be, I'm inside three or four feet and I get the ball. My first thought's got to be score. Sometimes she wants to pass it out before she even thinks about scoring. But, but she's getting contact. She's keeping the ball high. It's stuff. It's some things we really worked hard on. Um, that's going to greatly help us yeah, as we go into tournament she's, time. She's just got to realize that that inner circle, which we don't have in high school, but imagine there. That belongs to Mallory Arnold and nobody right. else. And I, t I can't tell you how many times I walk by in practice. Mallory, shoot, shoot, shoot. I've You're too it. close to the rim. Go go there and shoot. Like, don't think pass first. Well, we've, we've just got a lot of young ladies that love to spread the love around. They, they, don't, a lot, you know, they don't think of their own stats. They're worried about helping they do. somebody they, else's They do. We have up. a lot of girls that think, well, I just want to pass. Well, I want them to have the mentality to go score. Like, and, you know, sometimes you just got to do that. You just yep. got to go to the rim. And get the ball up and give it a chance. Attacking is always a good thing in my book. Yeah, you always want to attack, always, not always. be attacked. Well, I, I, you know, I like that, that we were taking the ball to the rim a lot tonight. You know, a, a lot of plays, you know, that they continue to remind me of Bryn Lyle and some of the plays where she would make the mad dash for the bucket. And we're starting to see shades of that in our offense now. Yeah, so, you know, that we're working hard on them every day. We got to get to the rim, get to the rim. We got to get paint touches. Paint touches can't just settle for outside jumpers all the time. You don't shoot the ball well enough, and if you're not shooting well, you're not touching the paint. It's going to be really, really hard. Well, here, here's the th here's the thing, Coach. We shoot from charity pretty well as a team. Okay, so we're not shooting that great from the field, about 32, 33 percent. Memory serves me correct, but we drive in the lane and attack like you're going to do. What are we going to do? We're going to get to the free throw line where we're shooting 65 percent. Right. So not only does your but your free throw, you get a chance to go to the line, but you're also your field goal percentage goes up because now it's a better shot because it's yep. coming from inside out instead of around the arc. And uh, when we get to the lane touches, our field goal percentage increases by yeah. 20 30 percent. But you know, it's, it's just we're on the same page attack, attack, attack on that. You know, looking at, uh, looking at the rest of the schedule, of course. We just had the big uh, a rematch with USJ. They handled us pretty good the first time. You know what to expect from them this time. What changes can you make? We just can we give a better. Well, the biggest better thing count? is we got to be settled, not let them get a huge run to start that game. Just settle down, and we did it in the game where we ran offense, 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 and made them guard us. We got to, we got to just not give them the easy stuff that we gave them and, and the runouts and easy points. We got to really make them guard us. And just like uh, we did when the game was at our house. It's going to be a playoff circus atmosphere yeah. over at USJ tonight. You for better get there early. For sure, because the boys will be playing for a district championship. So whoever wins that game will be district champions. It's going to be a wild night at USJ. And Lord knows, Matthew, there's many years you've been, as you and I have seen TCA basketball, there have been just a couple of wild games in that gym. Yeah, for sure. For sure, just, a lot. And, and a lot of involved TCA victories. May not have been against USJ, but they were – Playoff victory, right for sure, and that basically they're playing a district championship on Tuesday. So um, the boys are USA girls have already wrapped it up our side, but you know that's a it'll be that that place will be rocking. I know, but I harken back to a state championship, right? Yeah, got a, just to, just to get a region championship in there. Yeah. It felt really good yeah. a couple years ago. Oh, uh, how about the one last year? Felt great to me. Felt really good too, but that was <laughs> at Harding. That wasn't at that gym. Well, we had a great we had a great crowd there watching that game. An even better crowd watching it online for sure for sure matthew thank you Stan. safe trip home don't hit any deer and we'll talk to you we'll see you next week that's the head coach of the tca lions matthew coble we'll flip the score sheets around and so we will have basketball next friday for sure tca versus somebody we don't know who TCA basketball to start the second half. Of course, the TCA boys going to get a bye in the first round. Vales drive, shot, and one. Vales with her first points in a couple of ball games. Could have a big ball game a few weeks ago. I forget the opponent. But he racked up 19 points, and he's been kind of silent since that point. But he just exploded to the bucket there. 
and then hit that uh, three ball. And Cooper Vales, just like that, has three points. Steal by the general, Gabriel Lee. Williams for three, short. Rebound, J.H. Anderson of Faith Academy. They get in the front court off a double team. Oh, nice laser pass. You just saw why he was an all-region quarterback. It was J.H. Anderson with the laser pass from Corbin Bowling. Caleb Williams missed the short shot. Rebound, Faith Academy. Great court vision by Corbin Bowling on that last one. Here's a steal, Caleb Williams to the hoop. No, but Corbin Bowling with the foul. Corbin will make Caleb earn him the old fashioned way. Cherry strike. David Lee Lyle, Sir David checking in. Rod Parker, Laurie Youngcraft. Get buckets, Sir David. Caleb Williams has six. 45-27. And the beat goes on. Lakai Tompkins is the ball game for Caleb Williams. So we get big. We get in the cruiser range. We get in the heavy cruiser range now. They get the ball into the front court, pass too long. Bowling couldn't chase it down, out of bounds, TCA. TCA in the front court, give and go. Kick back out, three. Tickling the twines is Gabriel Lee, who has 16 points on the night. That was his fifth three ball. Double team trap. Bowling gets it out, Lakai, left handed shot off the glass. That was a thing of beauty by Corbin Bowling. He had Lakai Tompkins in his face. He makes the adjustment and gets it to go in off the left handed shot. Around the horn. Lee feeling it, no. Lakai Tompkins rebound. Three ball on the way, it's short. Rebound, Abernathy of Bay Academy. TC digging for it, they're not giving up. And a 10 second call. TC off that rebound, keeps digging for the basketball. And they force a 10 second count, Drake Craddock with a nice defense there for TCA. Very impressed off of a missed field goal when you can draw a 10 second count. Zane Pike picks up his second personal. Inside, Lakai, turn around. Yes. Lakai with his first field goal. He's got four. TCA zone pressure. They get in the front court. Bowling. Gets his own rebound out to Pike for the bucket. Bowling hit the deck. Ball dropped in his hands. Shovels it off to Pike. Who gets the deuce? Inside, and a foul on Dawkins. Caught Lakai in the chops. Dawkins picks up his second. Lakai shakes it off like the man child he is. A beast. Caleb Williams on the wing, backs it out. He's thinking about it. Long range, uh-uh. 
Lakai, it's good. Lakai Tompkins with so much muscle. Reach in on TCA. It's going to be on Gabriel Lee, his second. TCA in the front court. Bounce pass up and good. Gabriel Lee with his first deuce of the night. He's got 18. Drive to the hoop, short arm to rebound, Lions. Lakai Tompkins, it's good. Laser pass from Caleb Williams with the assist. 57-31, Lions. Faith Academy in the front court. Drive to the hoop. Dawkins in double digits with 10 on a nice move. A little left-handed layup. Do you think Gabriel's missing those on purpose just to give Lakai a rebound and a shot? It almost seems like it. <laughs> You look at Gabriel's shot, re resembles his sister's shot so much. Nivens bounces off. Lakai tips no. A rebound, Faye Academy. But you look at Gabriel Lee shooting the three, and you look at one of his sisters shooting the three. Mirror images at times. For three, it's up and it's good. Uh, Dawkins, you cannot leave him alone unchallenged. He will drain it, 59-36. TC done a much better job on handling Dawkins than they did the last night. He's got 13, though. Lakai has got 12. We've done a better job on Dawkins. He has 13 points. But he had 18 in the first meeting. Oh, look at Lacan. Almost got the steal out of bounds. Now, when your big man is going against their guard and he gets the pick, Craddock in for the little general, the G man. The Academy gets the ball in. Offensive foul, or excuse me, yeah, offensive foul against Corbin Bowling, his second of the night. And here come the Lions. The floater by Caleb Williams is pretty, and it's worth two. He's got nine. Driving, kick out, stolen. Lakai shuffles it off, and the layup. Waller in double digits with 11. Caleb Williams with the reach in. That's his third. Tyler and Ashley Porter checking in. Hello. Rod Parker on his way home. Fake shot up. No. That was basically the old quarterback naked bootleg. Nivens drives, is cut off, wants to kick out, and a whistle. Vikings foul charge to 15, 10, Pike. Third personal foul. 
Zane Pike's gonna pick up his third. And TCA at the bonus. They'll be shooting two. Nivens at the line, 67%, nothing but sack. Nivens has eight. Oh. Nivens gets them both. He's got eight. 59 seconds to go in our third quarter. TC tried to steal the ball, last touch out of bounds. By Faye Academy, it will be TCA basketball gets the steal. Lee, inside, oh nice pass. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen 12, 14 for Lakai. Blocking foul away from the ball. Before the shot. Gabriel Lee with the foul. Tried to give and go, TC in the lane. Players hustling for it. Hot potato somewhere. I didn't think that hot potato was going to end. Bowling to come back in for Faye Academy. Yes, Miss Peggy, they are. Baseball coach Hayden Hogue checking in. Looking forward to broadcast TCA baseball again this year. Yeah, we're drying up a wet spot. You hear the squeaks. And we're back to play. Vales went for the steal, didn't get it against Bowling. Quarterback versus quarterback. That's proper call there. Hand check on Cooper Vales. Vales with his first personal. Paige Weaver checking in. And we come to the end of the third quarter of play. Our score at the end of three is TCA 69 and Faye Academy 36 right here on the ball game blitz. Downtown is thriving and the Blacksmith Restaurant is leading the pack. From the rustic dining room to the unmatched patio, eating local with family is what we're about. Live local, eat local, relax local. Warner Wealth Solutions LLC offers experienced and diversified services throughout the greater Tennessee area. Warner Wealth Solutions specializes in water well drilling operations. They are experienced in the design, construction, and maintenance of wells from 4 to 16 inches in diameter and depths up to 1,000 feet. Water Wealth Solutions has three locations in Somerville, Brownsville, and Trenton. For a consultation, give them a call at 731-779-1275. And welcome back to Faith Academy in Somerville, Tennessee. I'm Stan Gerard, Diamond Dave McCulley with the night off. We move into the fourth quarter. It's all TCA as they lead 69 to 36. The 33 point lead for the Lions. TCA will be heading back to Paradise City as soon as this game's over with. In this case, Paradise City is 
Beautiful, windy city, Tennessee. Shots up and no good. Tell you, Cam, he gets the ball in. Bowling. Pushing it. Draws back, fade away, skims off, no. Rebound. Lions, crack with the board for TCA. Bales works it slowly in the front court, Niven in the corner. Down low, back to Nivens. Three. Niven in double digits with 11. Nivens is given Lakai an assist. Lakai gives one back. They're going to say that was a two pointer. Layup by TCA is good. Now they've changed the mind. It is a three. And Corbin Bowling, TCA gets five points. Corbin Bowling carries with the three spot. And we've got a timeout on the floor. 74-39. We're back after this on the ball game blitz. Why go on vacation when you can live on vacation? Aloha Custom Pools will help you create your very own piece of paradise, and you can enjoy it every day. What are you waiting for? Take the plunge. Call Aloha Custom Pools or visit us online. Buy a car in your bikini. Buy a truck in your jammies. Buy an SUV in your, well, <laughs> no matter what you're wearing or not, shop JonesChevroletHumboldt.com with the area's largest used car inventory. Do you want your smile to say it all? At Elite Dental Care, we'll make you and your family feel comfortable and secure with a variety of services and state-of-the-art care. We offer sedation dentistry that will make your time in the dental chair comfortable and relaxed. Come by and see our newly renovated and expanded office in Jackson or one of our other convenient locations in Trenton or Dyersburg. Trust your smile with Elite Dental Care and let your smile say it all. This ball game brought to you in part by the fine folks at Elite Dental Care. 6.42 to go in this ball game. TCA 74-39. Nivens, fadeaway three is short. Quiet crowd, haven't been able to get into anything all night. Fay Academy hung tough early. We had six lead changes and three ties. But TCA started to slowly pull away. Look how Thomas is going to get called for the foul. Proper call. <laughs> that was like a hip check. And look how Thompson's hip check can you move you back four or five feet. Bowling takes the inbounds play. Fade away. In and out, no good. Nivens dishes to Vales. Vales into the front court. Trying for the steal is Kahn or Kane Dozier. Tompkins takes a seat. Fade away. Uh uh. Rebound, Fade Academy. They go down the corner, three, in and out, no good. Should be Fay Academy basketball. Nivens got a paw on it, couldn't hang on to it. And the Vikings. Get into bowling. Bowling, three, no. Rebound TCA. Vales walks in the front court. To Caleb Williams, pressure. Turns the shot, a little finger roll, and it's good. Seven and a half. 
11 in the game for Caleb Williams. 76, 39. We are in running clock mode here. So this game will be ending shortly. Dozier picks up the foul. Four Fate Academy. Nivens goes out. Around the horn, TC goes. Back out to the top from the wing. Short or long. Vikings pressing the ball up the court. That's Harris Armour. Foot came out of the uh, shoe. Got to agree with you, Linda Harper-Smith. Got to agree with you. I know I've had a lot of State Academy folks watching the ball game. I will tell you this. I thought both of your teams played well, and they performed at a much higher level tonight than they did at our place. Nice play by Abernathy. He's got four. But Faye Academy, I can tell, has improved in the last couple of weeks, and they're giving a much better accounting of themselves. It may not show up on the scoreboard, but it is. TC getting some subs in there for the final room, 222 of this game. The pass to Nivens would have been perfect. He was seven foot six. Out of bounds, Faye Academy. Into the front court, come the Vikings, buck 56. Bowling. Dish, shot, missed it. Tough shot, couldn't go in for Dozier. Nice effort, couldn't get it to fall. Three, up and good. For Lake Helton. Gets a three spot. They throw one up. There's a whistle on TCA. Dooley picks up the foul. 60 seconds remain in this contest. We're going to keep it here as the free throw is good. We're going to, at the conclusion of this game, we'll go straight to post game. Second free throw is good as well. 79 43, 36 seconds to go in this contest. TC just walking into the front court. Playing this one out, 20 seconds. No fouling by Faye Academy, thank you, Lord. Six, five, four, Three, two, and one, and your final score, TCA, 79, and Faye Academy, 43. Scoring for Faye Academy, Dawkins with 13 points. And Clay Anderson with two, Harris Armour with two, Landon Abernathy with four, Bowling with nine, Zane Pike with 11, and that's the scoring four. Faye Academy for TCA. 
Waller with 11. Williams with 11. Lee with 18. Craddock with nine. Helton with three. Niven with 11. Bales with three. Three, four, six, eight, 10, 12. And with 14 points is Lakai Tompkins. TCA will be off until Tuesday when TCA will make the short trip to USJ as TCA will challenge the Bruins of USJ. It will be for the region championship. And you can watch it right here on the ball game blitz. Gail, very kind of your thoughts. We thank all of you for watching tonight. Philip Robertson provided the pictures. Michael Mancini producing and directing. My name is Stan Gerard. Keep Diamond Dave and his wife Peggy in your thoughts and prayers continually. Until Tuesday night from USJ. Good night and much more importantly, God bless.